Peace in folks, how you doing? Use your force. Positive mental attitude. No, how are you doing? So, um, the COVID-2020 Act, within it, contains the government, to just simplify it, denouncing the Queen and taking our sovereignty from the royals. And, in turn, really, the Vatican. Because they had a deal. Um, so, that's a little bit fucked up, isn't it? All under COVID 2020. So, what is sovereignty? What is our sovereignty? Because, you know, when I started looking into the structure of society, I realised that, um, that a lot of it, in fact, actually, society is built on contract law. Right? For everything to work... You need the signatures, right? And so, therefore, it's all based around contracts. Um, and do you know what? You know, obviously, our history shows that we are governed and ruled by murderous dominators, right? That's what they are. So, it's no surprise that they s legally... You know, the systems they created legally stole our right to our own sovereignty. And now the government are looking to hijack it. And considering the government are like basically run by the Rothschilds and their chums. That seems a little fucking problematic to me, doesn't it? So not only have we got this... Bug gut, I saw this brilliant car earlier. You know the old uh, Beatles, the Bugs? You know, they're like a VW Beetle and they've been like bored out, big engine put in the back. They put big wheels on and big suspension, call them Bugs. Geezer put a sign across the top of his windscreen saying, Corona Bug. <laughs> <laughs> it tickled me, you know? Um, the strange thing around the whole Corona thing, whether it is an actual thing or not, you know, it's still yet to really be proven. Um, but the strange thing is that all, like, the, the flu rates have gone down, all the usual deaths and disease that we would normally have as a unsustainable, pretty sick society, all them numbers have gone down. It's all on COVID, right? So, you know, it all seems like a crock of shit to me. But, hey, what the fuck do I know? What the fuck do I know? Right? Um, but, um... You know, initially, I opened up with um, with the 2020 Act, Coronavirus Act, right? This is something that, that not enough, I don't see enough people talking about, so therefore I don't think it's being made mainstream, right? And I think this little clause about our sovereignty, and there's some other stuff in there that sounded equally as heinous, but I don't remember it all, you know, because I can't remember everything. But shit, the stuff that to me sounds important, like the fucking government stealing our sovereignty, the Queen officially being denounced from that, like that all seems strange, especially as the royals have basically split up around the world, right? Like they've just run off. I think half of them are in Scotland. It's a fucking joke. Fucking. <laughs> Not a fan of the royals, do you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I don't like organisations that run around the world fucking murdering people and stealing their fucking countries and their free will. I'm just not a fan of that. Do you know what I mean? So it's like they can suck one. I don't care. Send your hitmen. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. You don't scare me, motherfuckers. You've got to be bothered about dying to be scared, right? I feel fear. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a big difference, right? Like, I'll feel fear... And I'll face it anyway. Like fear's not a deterrent to me. It's just a it's just a little sign, you know. Be a bit careful here, John. Things might get a little bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and half the time I just look at careful and just go, all right, son, chill out, we'll be all right. Way pull in the china shop. Whee! Let's create a new society. Fuck the old one. It didn't work anyway. Not for us anyway, did it? So, you know. This is why I talk about getting awareness. This is why I say let's get a little bit more informed, right? I think, fuck, man, so many more people are. Coronavirus, like, showed that. 
like the first wave obviously there was there was concern from some people but most people were just like oh shit all right let's be careful but then once that all came to light that really not that many more people were dying people you know too many people don't know anyone that's even been ill from it too many people like actually know someone personally and once that happens it's too obvious isn't it it's like well this this isn't really this isn't really that bad so what the fuck is going on because now we're in lockdown too right like many people are listening to that anyway right so many people aren't and why should they everyone knows we're not a danger we all like to believe we have our own free rights now if there's anything that this is showing is that when you actually try to stand up for your free rights the oppressive system that's hell bent on domination will try and crush you right like in there should be open healthy debate on covid Shouldn't just be like, there's COVID, lockdown. No, it should be like, there's a COVID. Well, hang on a minute, let's see that. All right, let's 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 have a public debate with, let's say, publicly chosen people. Why not? We've got the internet, we could do it in a heartbeat. All right, so, and why not then have a scientific show-off of to the actual science and to exactly what's happening, right? Why not have complete transparency, right? Because they're crooked motherfuckers, that's why, don't. That's why, right? So, you know, we've got to take things into our own hands and it's not going to happen overnight, right? It's going to take you a little while to get your head around what's going on and process it and deal with it, right? Fucking hell, when you first start finding out stuff, A, it's really hard not to go down rabbit holes, right? You suddenly realise why, that term rabbit hole is so banded around because it's so fucking easy to get lost in them, right? And then you've got to try and get yourself to objectivity, right? Because normally you start to feel like you're going a little bit crazy and then you're like, whoa, let me pull back a bit here, right? And then you've got to reevaluate, right? And that's a great opportunity, right? And if you can try and get into it where you're going into it, where you're being objective and where you're not going down too many rabbit holes but you're checking out enough information, it doesn't take that long to just up your level of... Uh, informational awareness globally, right? Doesn't take that long, not nowadays. You know? And then, and then we're in a much better position where when people do start coming together because more shit's going... We can't stop this is what's going on. You can't, you can't stop this shit. Our only hope is that the police force are going to wake up, that enough people on the police force wake up, right? The police force... The institution is never going to change. It's there to serve the powers <laughs> and keep us in line. And we're sold a fake democracy. And told lies about the police working for us. But they've shown they don't. They've shown. Through the marches. The way they've reacted to the anti-lockdown marches. Ooh. You know, they're just, they're just showing there's a whole load of people that have been really mind-fucked. And it's, it's disappointing for them. I feel bad for them. Do you know what I mean? Like, this change is coming. I think people are done with gangsters running, running the world, right? I think people, more people are becoming, like, sick of the ways of things are. And many people aren't. And that's a shame, but it's not a shame enough to fucking put me off. It's not a shame enough to stop me being hopeful for what we can and can't create. It's not a shame enough for me to, you know, stop speaking out in the hope that someone's going to hear something I say that haven't before and they might think, let me just go and look at that. And then, king, they're getting informed. They're getting aware. They're suddenly checking themselves because they're like, oh, fuck me, I've been living in this shit. <laughs> Let's clean house a bit, right? That's what we need to do. We just need to clean house a little bit because we've been living in a stink hole right, metaphorically speaking, right, and then we can create something better, we can create better ways, we can do, our communities will be healthy ones, not destructive ones, right, we live in destructive made societies, non-sustainable societies, right, so we're input into destructive societies, you know, and this is psychological and in the matter world, right, like, 
So as soon as we start making home a little bit, tidying up from the shit that we've been inflicted on, then we come together. Then we have minds and hearts that can create solutions that are aware of the shit we've been through and mindful to not repeat it, right? We can break the cycles. We can break the cycles. We don't need to keep going round and round and round. Walking into brick walls like they're fucking doorways like Homer Simpson. Do you know what I mean? Don't. 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 No, it's not going to work. That system is what it is. We can't change it. Maybe we can infect it and help it fall. But I, I strongly believe that after gaining more awareness internally and externally and more people come together like that, then we can just start creating something nicer, smaller, healthier, right? People can still travel the globe, people can still drive cars, people can still have the internet. Damn, the internet would be free. Right? You bring technology to every bloody land. Don't rely on China to make everything. You have every land making the stuff they need. And the stuff they want, right? It's the human experience. We're not here to just sit in caves and be boring, are we? Do you know what I mean? I like to make fucking electronic music. Or I like to play with electronic music and write lyrics to it. Dixie makes electronic music. I mean, I fuck around with things like production work but you know, not dixie's the magic man <laughs> where the music is concerned let's not get that twisted but i've got my own magical flavors to flex afterwards that's all good um but yeah man do you know what i mean it's, life's got to be lived we've got to have fun but it's not all fun and it's not all serious right but when you've got to be serious you you need we need to be serious and we could do with being serious about some stuff right and then we can get back to just having fun Right, because I love fucking having fun. Right, so I'm up for that. I'm just also up for having fun in an area that's healthier. You know? For all of us. I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. I think that's a beautiful place to leave it. So I'm going to say to you, beautiful people, use the force, positive mental attitude, be kind with your thoughts to yourselves and others. Keep love in your heart for yourselves and others. Let's get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course. Peace.